All right, so let's go ahead and create a new administrator for the Livingston Hotels and Resorts. Uh, again, we're gonna go with this Livingston use case, and in this use case, the administrator over the platform is going to be a gentleman named Josiah Copeland. So we're gonna go ahead and create his account. Uh, we're gonna do it manually. Of course, there are automated ways of doing this, uh, but we're gonna do it manually so you can see what is included in a user account and what it takes to actually walk through creating a new user account from scratch. So let's go ahead and do that. If you're not already logged into the platform from the last set of videos, go ahead and make sure you're logged in. Okay, go ahead and open up the menu and the control panel. We're gonna to go to users and users and organizations. All right, and we will see right now the Livingston admin that we created together. Let's go ahead and create the new account for Josiah Copeland. So come up to the top right and click add user. And here we're gonna see the information we need to fill out for our new user, okay? So we can add screen name information here, email address. Uh, there's some other personal information here, and of course, things like name and last name. And we'll look at some of the additional information you can have in account as well once we save this. All right. Okay, so let's go ahead and fill this out together. So for starters, uh, Josiah.Copeland is going to be what we had in here for the screen name. Okay. And the email address is going to be similar. It's going to be Josiah.Copeland at Livingston.com. All right, then what we're gonna do is we're gonna come down to the first name, and of course, we're gonna do Josiah. Last name, we're gonna do Copeland. And if we want, we can add some additional information in here as well. So we can go to his birthday, and we can change this if we'd like to 4-17-1983. Okay, for the job title, let's go ahead and add in platform administrator here. And this is the initial information needed for a user account. Like I said, we can do more with this once we've saved it. So let's go ahead and do that. Go ahead and scroll down and click Save. All right, now what we see here is once we've saved it, we have uh, a bunch of new information that we can work with with the user accounts. Of course, we can do this because we are uh, currently the platform administrators. And in order for Josiah to actually act as a platform administrator, we need to make sure that he has the proper role. Now again, we'll get into uh, some of this information uh, in more detail a little bit later, but for now, go ahead and click on the roles link. Okay, you'll see that to the left. All right, and we're gonna work with our regular roles. So go ahead and click select here next to regular roles. All right, and go ahead and choose administrator. Come down and click save. All right, so now this gives him the ability to perform the administrative functions or tasks that we can perform right now on the entire platform. The next thing we wanna do is we wanna make it easy for us to log in. Uh, if you click on password here, all right, by default there is a password policy in LifeRay that sends out an email when a new account is created um, that requires someone to basically follow a link, reset their password, and then log in from there. Since we don't have an email server set up for this particular example, uh, we need to just go ahead and preset the password expecting to change it, okay? So what we can do here is we can just start by setting the password to test, and then clicking save. All right, so now we can log in as Josiah, and we'll use this uh, particular user account for the rest of the course and we can go ahead and change the password from there. So to do that, let's go ahead and click on the user panel. Okay, so from, from the last section, we talked about the three panels in the menu here. Okay, the user panel is this middle one. Go ahead and click on sign out in the user panel. And then go ahead and click on sign in. It's gonna be at the bottom of our site here, okay, because this is how the theme is set up for us. Click on sign in. All right, and we can type in josiah.copeland at livingston.com. All right, and the password that we will need to change here is going to be, of course, test. So go ahead and type in test, click sign in. 
All right, we'll walk through some of these steps that we did before when we first started the platform for the first time. So click I agree, add a new password. Now, unfortunately, this one can't be test, so we'll have to do something like Liferay. Okay, or you can do Livingston or whatever you'd like. Okay, so I'm going to type in Liferay, click Save. All right, the password reminder query here again. Okay, we're just going to do test here as well and click Save. All right, so now if we open up the menu, we will see that we are logged in as Josiah Copeland and we have all of the administrative privileges that we had as the basic platform administrator. Okay. All right, so we'll start with this as just a basic walkthrough of the user account. And in the next chapter, we'll actually import a number of uh, different resources to take a look at as well as we continue uh, looking at the basic building blocks of Liferay. All right, so we'll see you in the next set of videos.